Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 3 of Challenge Sundays. Okay, uh, so as you see, I'm in Ocarina of Time right now. Uh, don't you guys miss this game ever since I LP'd it? Uh, you're probably watching another LP of it right now or something, because this is such an over-LP'd game, but I digress. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the next challenge for this Challenge Sunday is going to be here at the Garuda Fortress in Ocarina of Time. And, uh... I'm sure you that a lot of you already know where this is going. We're going to do the archery game. But I'm going to put a bit of a twist on it this time. Okay, so just before we get started here by talking to this Gerudo lady, um, the first, the rules of this challenge are there's there are two rules. Number one is that uh, you have to show your rupees before and after you completed the challenge. Just so that I know that you didn't like edit out a bunch of other tries until you had your best one. Okay, so I'm just going to do that right now. At the moment, I have 500 rupees, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner there. And at the end, I should have whatever that is, minus 40, actually, because the second rule is that you have to do this challenge twice and then add together your scores. I, I don't know why I want to do that. It just seems like something that will make this a bit more interesting. I don't know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so we're just, so now that that's all out of the way, so, um, yeah, just to reconfirm, the number of rupees you start with should be, uh, the same that you end with, minus 40, or plus 40, rather. So, yeah, you should, you should totally spend 40 rupees on this game. Okay, yeah, so just skip all this, uh, yeah, 20 rupees, okay, and here we go, gonna get started. Yep, and you only get tr two tries. You don't get, like, practice rounds or whatever. If you don't hit anything, then you don't hit anything. I'm sorry. Okay, got all the pots. That's good. Good times. Uh, not bad. I've done better. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that a lot of you who watch my Ocarina of Time Let's Play will remember that I'm not particularly fond of this minigame. It's pretty difficult, in my opinion. Hey, no, don't miss. That's the last thing you want to be doing. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all, really. Oh, hey, no. Oh, come on. I didn't even hit that last target there. Okay, so 1,410 points for the first one. Okay, so, and we're going to go again, as always. Okay. Yep, here we are. Okay, so 1,410, I need to remember that. Or I can just look it up in editing and calculate it there. Whatever. Okay, oh, I missed two of the pots. That's not very good. Come on, let, let me hit like 100 here. No. Oh, God. And now I'm doing even worse than I did just last time. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yes, that was a nice shot. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Oh, come on, I hit that in like the 30 mark at least. Okay, so 1,370. Now, plus 1,410, that should be... Uh, this is just a random estimate. Wait, that 2,780. That should be my score. 2,780. And as you can see there in the lower left-hand corner, I have 460 rupees, which means that... I did not edit this video, those were my actual two first tries. So there you go. One or 2,780 if my math is correct. Uh, it'll say on the screen right now anyways, or earlier would have said it on the screen. So um, yeah, that's it for this challenge Sunday. So good luck to everyone who enters, hopefully more people will enter this one than the last one because only two people entered the last one. That was kind of disheartening, but oh well. Uh, life goes on. Okay. so. Thank you, everyone. Good luck with the challenge, and I'll see you next time. Congratulations to Cows Crazy, who won the last challenge Sunday with 115 purple coins.